Hopefully this shit will work. So I just leave the bar a few minutes ago. I'm at the bar with about two co or a co-worker and his brother. And then this other co-worker and her husband show up. So we're at the bar just chilling. And then another co-worker show up. So it's all, it's all fine and dandy in my book. Now, this woman came through the bar that was at a job we did on Cinco de Mayo. And I told her, I was like, last time I saw you, you was looking cute and everything, and everything was nice. But if I'd have known you was having a bad day like you was, you know, I, I, you could at least sit over here and I'd have bought you a few drinks. Because my wife and my family wasn't there, so, you know, and you need somebody to talk to, I'd have been there for you. Because, you know, I know who you're with, you know. So, that's all I said to this person. Go back and order me some more Chinese dry fries. That's what I call them. They're pretty much little rib tips or whatever. Off the ribs. Come back to the other side of the bar to sit with my homeboy and the other two, you know, co-workers. And this other co-worker says, I'm disrespecting his buddy's woman and his woman. So now they're arguing with me and I'm like, what did I say? Or what did I do? So my so-called friend, my homeboy, my boy, the one that did the video, so asked me what is like, we need to get out of here. You did something wrong. What the fuck did I do? I ain't did shit to nobody. They try to rush me out the bar. Apparently, I was disrespectful. Um telling somebody who's a friend of your friend that you know if they were having a bad time they could have sat next to me I'd have bought them a few drinks they wouldn't have to pay nothing is this respectful first of all my woman comes in a beautiful brown and she is a beautiful woman second of all I'm not into nothing skinny flat or not mine so I'm trying to explain myself I'm like what did I do wrong what did I say wrong and everyone is trying to stop me from speaking no one tried to pull anybody white to the side and say listen this guy's not saying nothing foul he's trying to explain himself he's apologizing if he did anything disrespectful nobody's pulling nobody white to the side I am wrong automatically wrong first of all my woman earned too much for me to be running after no flat ass motherfucking sorry looking bitches first of all my woman is of a higher standard I got a high class broad so to speak well, why would I fuck around with some flat looking sorry looking pitiful looking women I'm just trying to appease a friend of mine this is my friend's friend I'm going to take care of you I don't want you so this guy is screaming about you disrespected my friend his wife my wife and da 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 this is a guy I've been working with for about maybe three weeks now nut up in my face jump all up in my face and people are pulling me back for what they're pulling the person back that's saying excuse me what did I do they're pulling the person back that's saying uh, uh, could you explain to me what you're saying see now I'm truly thinking that the main reason this shit went down is because this woman probably thought I was going to tell that she was all up in somebody's face on Cinco de Mayo sucking face with somebody and you know she's supposed to be my boy's friend or whatever I'm like you know trying to look after this person but I didn't stick my mouth on hers like that dude was at Cinco de Mayo shit I said, if you was having such a bad time, you could have sat next to me. I would have bought you a few drinks. You could have just chilled out. My family wasn't there. I wasn't doing nothing. That's all I said. And for that, 
I got to be trying to get something to do something. It is truly low when a bunch of people pull you out of a situation when you're trying to defuse it. Then, the lowest kick was when the people that we went there with my friend's brother said I said to his woman that she looked good I always say something positive to somebody I'm like you know you look good today you always look good because of the way you carry yourself that's all I said to her I don't want her please she earned less than I do and I thought about it is it because they're white Mexican and Asian because my so called friends I went there were black white what was it the fact that they thought I was going to go off It's a damn shame. People automatically assume somebody wants something. And the first thought that came to my mind is like, excuse me? It, <laughs> these women or girls or girlfriends or wives or whatever they are can't do a goddamn thing for me. Couldn't wipe my ass if I couldn't bend over and wipe it myself. Couldn't take my shoes off if I couldn't take my shoes off myself and these people think I want someone who makes less than me <laughs> so I'm completely disgusted with the situation at this point and still got to have the last word because you know I like to talk for 10 minutes I couldn't have the last word for nothing everyone thought and assumed that I was going to flip out and go off why I don't even want to work for that company anymore. I want to cuss this motherfucker out one last time. And I won't even go back to work there anymore. Even though this had nothing to do with the job. The co-worker's brother really needs to be told off again. Because he didn't understand. I told him, I'm like, dude, I'm mad. Come on, first of all, you're sitting right in front of me. How am I going to say something faulty to your woman? And you're sitting right there. These people and what they think they have is completely pitiful. Self-esteem is at an all-time low. If you think somebody gonna take something worth some of what you got and have something worth taking, none of those people I encounter tonight even deserve my time ever anymore. If life is that bad to where you think everybody's going to try to take what you got, evaluate what you got. Evaluate what you're doing. Shit. I would be extremely jealous. My wife is worth a billion dollars. To me. To anybody else, she might just be another woman. But please, I'm not going to sacrifice all I have for what? A waitress? And some woman that was acting like a hoe at the Cinco de Mayo party? Please. You motherfuckers got another goddamn thing coming. <laughs> Just a bitch. Once again, life itself is full of shit. Watch who you ride with. Because I'm not going to ride with them people no more. Ever. Again. Sorry ass motherfuckers. Piss me off. How you gonna think somebody wants what you got when what you got ain't worth half of what I already have? A third. You've been tubed. Motherfuckers.